Hi guys! Mabuhay! Welcome back to my channel for another pageant-related vlog. I am Dave, a certified pageant enthusiast and in fact, my undergraduate thesis was about Miss Universe. And I watched the Miss Universe pageant live twice, first here in the Philippines last 2017 and of course last year in Bangkok. And unfortunately, I wouldn't be able to watch the pageant this year because it's in the USA. The pageant is now ongoing in Atlanta and the Coronation Night will be next week. It will be shown here in the Philippines on December 9, okay, in the morning. And without further ado, I will I would want to share with you my top 10, you know, post-arrival favorites, okay? So I have been browsing the internet, I've been watching their videos, you know, video clips from their Instagram and looking at their photos and I just felt like I want to share um, who my favorites are with you guys. So first, of course, we have Miss Colombia. Okay, Miss Colombia Gabriela Tafur. So actually, Miss Colombia, um, she has always been in my list, list of favorites ever since she was crowned. After missing the cut last year, they're back, you know, even stronger this year. Um, Colombia has consistently sent, you know, uh, strong candidates. Um, they had their Miss Universe crowd in 2015 and in 2014 rather, and series of runners-up position. So this year, again, um, Gabriela Tapur is a strong contender. She has a um, strong educational background and she has worked as a lawyer as well. She has a very gorgeous face. I can say that she has a bubbly and a vibrant personality. When I watched her video with uh, Miss Philippines, Gazini Ganados, um, she was taught to speak Filipino and I love that. So next we have, of course, Miss Brazil. Miss Brazil, again, one of the favorites in the competition by many. I've seen her, uh, you know, uh, departure, departure photos and videos, and a lot of Brazilians sent, sent her off in the airport. Even though a lot of people are saying that she's not that pretty, I find her face really charming. Miss Brazil is a journalist and a host, so I really expect her to do well in the interview portion. So there is a chance that this year, Brazil will get their third Miss Universe crown. The third in our list is Miss Thailand, Fasai. Okay, Fasai has always been a big favorite ever since she was crowned as the new Miss Universe Thailand. Pasay is already competed in Miss Earth last 2017 and unfortunately, she didn't win the crown. And this year, she's, you know, she's back in a major pageant competition, which is the Miss Universe pageant. Pasay so far has been a hit or miss in the pageant. There are some underwhelming photos, photos of her, but I believe you know, it's too early to tell that she will not perform well. I love Pasay. She has that Miss Universe aura all over her. She speaks well. She has a strong, you know, fan base to support her. Her departure in Bangkok is, I think, one of the biggest, if not the biggest, departure I've ever seen. Okay, for a Miss Universe candidate, there, there were a lot of people cheering for her and I believe this will give her a strong, you know, motivation to get the crowd, to even work harder for the crowd. Fourth, of course, we have Miss Philippines Gazini Ganados. So Gazini has one of the, you know, most gorgeous faces in the competition and I believe she can do well on stage. It's one of her greatest assets. In the Binibining Pilipinas pageant, she showed us her great um, catwalk skills, her great um, presentation skills. Like she knows how to utilize her face to make the audience wild. In the send off, she said that she's been training so hard in terms of her communication skills. Okay, so I hope we see that in the competition. Fifth, we have Miss Puerto Rico. Madison Anderson. So Miss Puerto Rico is, uh, you know, 
a pageant veteran. She has already competed in uh, Miss Grand International and in Miss Florida, USA. So I believe she can use her experience to her advantage. She's prepared. I've been seeing her photos and videos. She seems polished. I've seen her video with the Miss Philippines that she would want to take a photo of her because the fans requested for that photo. And I find it very sweet because you know, Filipinos and Puerto Ricans on social media, you know, the rivalry is there. And I'm happy to have seen a video of them together. Gazzini and Madison. Sixth, we have Miss Vietnam. Okay, Miss Vietnam, during the first day, there were underwhelming photos of her, but she has eventually redeemed herself. And I can say she's the best dressed candidate in the competition. She's been slaying with her outfits. And I've read that her outfits are by Vietnamese designer. She had modeling experiences, and you know, in the competition, it shows. She knows how to strike a pose and I believe she will do well on stage with her superb catwalk. She has won the Vietnam Next Top Model before and she has a compelling backstory like she used to sell rice cakes to help her family and now she's there in the Miss Universe competition pursuing her dream to become a beauty queen. Next we have Miss Sierra Leone. Miss Sierra Leone Marie Esther was supposed to compete last year in Thailand but she was disqualified because she was late. But this year, she has come strong in the pageant. She looks like a Barbie doll, guys. If you can see her photos, she looks like you know an African Barbie doll. And she wants to fight against sexual exploitation of the youth. You know, it's something to be admired of. Okay, it's a strong advocacy. She's a student. She's a business administration student at the University of Sierra Leone. Another favorite of mine, post-arrival favorite, is another black beauty, Miss Kenya. Miss Kenya Stacy. She's just actually 18 years old, very young. I've seen her photos and uh, just like Miss Sierra Leone, she looks like an African Barbie doll. And she's been a model. She has won modeling competitions before in 2017 and 2018. And I believe she can use again her experiences to her advantage in the Miss Universe pageant. Next from Europe, I think she's the most, you know, she's my most favorite, my sentimental favorite this year, Miss Albania Cindy Marina. So Cindy, uh I just love looking at her face. She looks like an Albanian Barbie doll. She looks like a, Euro a European Barbie doll. She has a gorgeous face. She has a goddess-like face. I've seen her coronation night photos in Albania. She can be a Victoria's Secret model. With her height, with her beauty, with her figure. You know, she can do well in the competition. And not to mention that she's an athlete. She's a national volleyball athlete, guys. So. Definitely, I believe that she has that determination within her, just like any other athlete. So I hope Cindy Marina. Finally, we have Miss Indonesia, Frederica Kahl. So Frederica seems to have a pleasing personality. Like, um, she has just that charming and angelic vibe written all over her. I've seen her photos with other candidates and I love that she initiates the picture taking, you know, taking of videos with other candidates. So it just shows that she has that personality, you know, she has that personality to become Miss Universe. Whoa! And she's articulate. She's articulate. Um, she's smart. I've watched her answer in the local pageant in Miss Indonesia and I can say that she has a strong communication skill. Just like Catriona, she's half Australia. She can relay her thoughts well. I guess we can see another placement for Indonesia this year. So again guys, those are my top 10 post-arrival favorites. Colombia, Brazil, Thailand, Philippines, Puerto Rico, Sierra Leone, Kenya, Albania, Vietnam, and Indonesia. And of course, um, some surprises for me are Japan, India, 
uh, Sweden, Miss Ireland, Singapore, Bangladesh. Okay, and if I missed some surprises, you can comment down below, guys. So, how about you guys? Who are your top 10 post arrival favorites? Who do you think will win the Miss Universe crown this year? Okay, just comment down below if you have the comments, okay? So, guys, thank you so much for watching, and I hope to see you in my next vlog. You can watch my other pageant-related vlogs. It's on my channel. My Miss Universe 2018 vlog in Bangkok. It's on my channel also. So, I hope to see you in my next vlog. Bye-bye!